I should have a dog like a sicker to my sister. Nanka, my old babble songs along my hunter, but no kibina. Delighted children in play with full of life is among the most beautiful scenes in the world beyond doubt. They play, they sing. These little kids hum a living in hill, their way of life, affectionate relation with family, even with the domesticated animals, eternal bonds between nature and them. It has been a long Chakmani, a game developed in Tripuri community or Dowling of the Ryang. The hilly kinfolks beget life in calves of the terrain that goes through trees, dancing rivulets, crop field slopes looms with wild creatures. Their wind whispers in mystic, and sky eyes are timid with moonlight slips in gaps between leaves when loving hearts call each other and tongue hats hold them. Life as spreads in struggling livelihood. The joy and sorrow all get mingled in nature. In the state of Tripura, there are as many as 19 tribes with their legacy. Basically simple, peace-loving in behavior and lifestyle. These people have the treasure of rich ethos. Among many extreme exposures of life for being in tough, Topography. These people unequally know how to plug in pleasures, charming life with the very ordinary things. This suggestion of life has driven evolve of a folk culture from their experience and share with nature. The sports and games are the parts of this feature. Scores of indigenous sports and games with the distinctive characters are found in Tripura. Yet these traditional sports are common among different tribes, sometimes the names vary and sometimes they do not even. The varieties are represented in the film not counting the identical thing by other name again. This increases the scope to cover much less available kinds. The tribal sports and games carry live documentations of their means of enjoyment, pastime, leisure, as well as their bonds, dueling in nature, and social interaction, festivity also to some extent. As the Kogbarak is the major language, it claims a major role in representing the names of sports and games in the film. However, other available names in other uh, tribal dialects are given. The games are called as Tunga in Kogbarak. The tribal life traditionally encircles around cultivation. Orsumani was a practice to make fire bushes before seed sowing. It shaped a game too. In same form, same name. In plain enjoyment, it used to teach the life in real. This is both girls and uh, boys, means the men and women they used to do the Krishatan money. This is in English, pack of war, you used to call. So they are testing group wise five and five 
they are pulling each other and they're testing their strength. Aun Hul Ful Sol Niao is a pole wrestling played by two players. One pushes other by a bamboo pole over a prefixed mark. It also looks like Dukai Satana or Tagbua. It is popular among the different age groups and found across all the communities. <laughs> Wakcho Sosamo, also known as a papu, is a very much popular among the Ryang. A bamboo pole is posted at ground while a bamboo ring is set to it. This ring is to be scored out from the long bamboo post by the participants pushing it upward. A circle round the post marks the area which the participants should not cross in moving the ring and otherwise disqualification would be pronounced. If more than one player can make the ring out from the pole is a tie and they would be taking part again until it comes to a definite shape. And if none can succeed to detach the ring, the winner would be decided based on the lens travelled by the ring along the pole. It's obvious highest lens denotes the champion. You will find that in every game of the tribal base, they are using bamboo because the bamboo is important in our life too. That's why the people of Tripura, especially the tribal people, they are using the bamboo. The bamboo was most important thing next to doom or cultivation in tribal life, from making hearts to craft, utensils, worship, preparing food. Bamboo has made its presence vividly. The tribal games and sports need no costlier items, but those are the things which are available in nature are the instruments. Tandem is popular among children, teenagers and young males, found across almost all the tribes here. One stick made of tender branches of tree strikes a slate. The slate is tin and the stick is dam. Every player comes in turn to strike the tin by dam as standing on a fixed point when the others spread in field to catch ten. If the ten or the slate is caught, the player in strike gets out. If not, the distance between two spots where the slate lands and the fixed point comes a score to the striker. The length is measured in multiple of the dam and that is the score of an individual player that decides the winner. It looks like a rural version of baseball. Sukui Tugmui is applied with the seeds of wild bean called Sukui. A cord is drawn with lines for the ply. There are different lines within the cord, those known as Damcha, Damnui. Damcha and Damnui are apart by three, four steps. Within the area, a sukui are set in vertical position. The number of pliers of this game is not fixed but divided into two groups Damcha, Damhui, Sukumurku, Yachap, and Karai, Kahang are the five steps of the sukui. The pliers of the both sides are to strike the bean kept erect on the line. This strike is done by different ways. Giving the bean with fingers, the pliers holds this one like by other hand and the bean is thrown in between the hole made up of hand and luck to strike the other. In other style, the bean is hit by other bean by foot. This game also has different versions too. In the other case, the sukui 
even with some kind of slit, is striking by feet only to progress through a particular pattern of chord. Players on one leg keeping breath in hold strike that and encycle the chord one by one. Children play marbles, named Angush or Turi. These are said to have been evolved alongside the Sukui Tungmani. Chu Tungmani is a game of attacking priority of a spinning top. The clay or wooden top spin is here named as Chur. A player spins a top and to dash it now, his opponent spins another. After the collision, the top still stays in well, or the longer spin is victorious. The people of Kaiping tribe call it Riper, while the Riyang call it Chu Tonglaimo. That Panzer Lao means they, who, who will be the strain of their reach. They are testing each other. When the people growing up means uh, becoming young, that time they are using this kind of games. Musa Suglai is played between two to go to the strand of wrist. It is uh, one long bamboo is there and seven pitch, uh, small pitch bamboo also there. And one person will jump oppositely, uh, look side by side means uh, one in, uh, in, the, in front and another side, another one is back. Like that he will jump and pick up that, uh, the pitch of bamboo. In Wachago, a long bamboo is placed on the ground horizontally. Bamboo slates are placed along. It's a one-man shell. He collects the slates, drops, jumps and runs from this end to that. He gets the full credit, who completes the whole thing in one go. Kazdang means actually this is a koldom we used to call in the original language. That koldom is like that. Uh, one long bamboo and there is one small round bamboo will tie it up and one person will climb up there and he will walk around here and there around all the village. Kazdang is a fun game. Two bamboos are taken to get small pieces of bamboo feeted tightly to place the feet on them. The players climb on the knots and walk or run fast. This is also known as runpa in other community. This perhaps indicates the nomadic character of the tribal communities who had to go one location to other in search of virgin land for jum or slash and barn shifting cultivation. Roadheads, bridges over streams, are occupied by jungle, and the tribal people used to live in such areas. Ramtan Lairo is one to one game. Two Udukals, which are used to grind crops, are needed. These hammers are joined by individuals in groups.
ตึกเส้นเกเกซึ่งอ่าจิงโนโกโนปาติโกโนอะบรอกทลายอะบอเกโนกายสัตสนามไลเนอ่ากูรีเนโนกิติงเกสนามไลเนอ่าบุมาส
Mahok, San Lai Mani, Tugmug, is a play to mainly by the children. When a pelzing old lady sits on the ground holding a tree or a pearl, other participants ask for a pumpkin. Then the reply comes that the seed of pumpkin is not available for rats destroy it all. If the growing pumpkin gets measured and yields seeds that can give birth to other plants, those would produce pumpkin and then only it is possible to share one. One comes again, once a pumpkin. Now the availability of pumpkin seeds is there. Again, one comes when the pumpkin seeds has been just sown. Next time, the old lady says the plant is growing. Every time one comes for a pumpkin and takes seeds, forming a line, as they now pose as a growing pumpkin and pumpkin seeds plants. Finally, the old lady starts distributing the pumpkins and the participants in line are being taken away as they have become pumpkins. The lady, before giving every pumpkin, asks what has been done with the earlier one. The taker replies, one has eaten up with dry fish and bamboo shoes. One is gone for his son-in-law. Another is being cooked with small fish and so on. This play opens up the reality of the hills when bamboo flowers bloom, a number of rat shorts high, those destroy agriculture, bamboo shoot which may even invite famine. Fifteen or twenty people they are around uh, rounding, they are sitting round and one person will round and round and they will keep something behind of the people and who will pot they will be get one punch and those who bought punch they have to run again the same thing. Badu Thungmung is an outdoor game. It is applied in a prefixed area. A group of players sit in a round shape and an object, like a bundle of cloth, is hidden by one of them. One player outside the cycle tries to find out who is in possession of that. If the player can locate it correctly, the player takes the seed in the round and the player who has been in possession but just got identified moves around and in the meantime, the bundle gets moved one hand to other. Finally, the object is thrown in the open space all on a sudden. Who can take it first will be the winner.
Madika Gulam or Gulang Tungmui is an outdoor game played by two groups. Members of a team run to reach a prefixed spot from another while the other try to prevent them. There is a main runner who actually runs to set the goal while the team mates pave way for the runner to go. If any of the opposing team can touch the main runner in midway, is a defeat for the running team, and when the runner can reach the sport, is a defeat for the other team. Is also mentioned worthy here. Members of the running team attempt to touch the opponents if it happens. The particular opponent player receives ban to touch the runner, and thus runner's way is carved up to the goal mark. It is something like rugby without the ball. A toss decides which team would start the running first. It has to be played for at least two rounds. <laughs> Daria resembles in nature to a great extent with Gulam Tungmui, but the appearance is quite different, and boys mainly play this. It needs a certain court prepared prior to the shell. Here is two. Two groups partake, and the members of one group aim to arrive at other end of the court through the array of opponents who can touch them out from the court. In this game, the defending players are fixed to certain points, which the members of the other team run through. <laughs> Once, women used to fetch water from down the stream to make the hard toil easy. They had developed a way. With the water load, they try to make raise the diverted attention from load and also save time. To the course of time, it is now a game. Beaching, beaching is a girl's game. Every player in different rounds is to jump across a hurdle, which in every round becomes harder. The stages of the hurdle are set by arrangements of legs and hands of two individuals sit face to face. In jumping, if player's body, even her garment, comes in contact with the hurdle, keeps her out of the game. This game also is compiled with rhyme. <laughs> Pine, uh, basically an indoor game, is played as a pastime pleasure and can be compared with a checkerboard. The clay made marbles, or even small wild seeds, act as the instruments set on a pattern created with lines on floor or ground. Here, one moves marbles in angular directions to fill up opens. In a most area, if one can jump over others' marble, that particular marble is captured by him, till all the opponent's marbles get captured or his area gets filled. The game goes on. The winner is he who makes it first. Mimicking wild animals. Acting like those are very common tribal games. The interesting thing is that not only animals but birds, even buzz and bee, also find their places in the tribal sports that indicate the strain bond of hilly people with nature. <laughs> Yangla Bazlaru imitates the jump of frog. Children, even adults, jump like frog. Sometimes, making it difficult, the players impose a barrier or hurdle, which has to be overlapped to win the race. This is Musta Seglayo of Ryang. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Uchoi may be a small group in Tama population, but they have many beautiful sports and games. Kakur is a game that imitates the movements of squirrel a tree. The old players besides one climb up a tree and sit on branches. The stunned alone player then chases them on the branches. He touches one, which just touched in turn, touches another nearby and so. Ultimately, he leaves the tree who cannot touch any other next to him and now it's his turn to chase other. He again climbs up, tries to touch one and the game continues. Some call it monkey game. The Uchoi call it Manda Imamo. They are testing their head, head whose head is very hard or how, how, how the uh, head is hard. They are testing each other. They are like a ball are testing their strength. So our, in our people, because we are related with the pet, uh, like, uh, like a pet, pet animals means the cows and so, uh, goats, sheep, these are all. Kailayo is bullfight. Two boys dash each other with head. However, it is not as deadly as real bulls do. Chul Kala is a similar game of garrows. Common game in our tribal people because the cock fight, cock always fighting in the village area. So our people also like a cock fighting. They are also fighting with like a cock. So they are lift up their one leg with catching with the one one hand and only one with the one leg only they are used to uh, touch each other and they are throwing out of the mark. There is a mark in the in this game. There is a mark. Those who are out of the mark, they are out and they, they got, means they fail. Tinkling Tal Lilo is something like cockfight. Players do what a cock do with the other. Lighter Karin is a tough aerobatic tactics. The feet are tied with a pole and the person waves in air like a peacock spreading its hood. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, sport are playing between Biles and Biles. Because the villagers they always try to show they are the best, best in that area, in that locality. So the villagers are always trying to, uh, trying to keep the power and they want to rule all over the all over the area
The young people, however, are not only engaged in traditional sports. The Tripura tribal boys and girls earn fame in many other games like football, cricket, athletics, and so on. ফুটবল the rural games are mainly are now being practiced occasionally in various government or organizational events. খেলাধুলার মধ্যে আমরা দেখতে পাচ্ছি যে কোনো এখানে রাজনৈতিকগত থাকে না যারা খেলাধুলা করে সেখানে অন্য বিভিন্ন রকম লোক হলেও সেখানে হাসি খুশিতে অনেক মেলা মেশা একটা মিলন ক্ষেত্র হয় সেখানে কোনো ভেদ ভেদাভেদ থাকে না সেখানে কোনো জাতি গোষ্ঠী থাকে না তার জন্য খেলাধুলার মাধ্যমে যে পরিবেশ ঠিক করা বা আনন্দ ফুর্তি করা এটা তো আছেই তার থেকেও যে একত্রে থাকা যে ট্রাইবেল পাহাড়ি বাঙালি সবাই মিলে যে থাকা সেই ক্ষেত্রে অনেকটাই আমরা দেখতে পাই খেলাধুলার মাধ্যমেই বেশি সম্ভব বলে মনে করি ইটস নট দ্যাট দে আর জাস্ট কনফ্লিক্ট ইন এন্ড ফাইটিং নট দ্যাট দে আর দে আর লাভ ইচ আদার বাট উইথ ডেট লাভ দে আর শোয়িং দেয়ার লাভ বাট দ্য ইন্টার রিলেশন ইজ কাম টু দ্য স্পোর্ট অ্যান্ড দ্য কালচার দ্য ইউনিক এন্ড টু অ্যাকসোরাইড সান্ডার গেমস এন্ড স্পোর্টস ইন মোস্ট কৌডিয়াল ওয়াই imbibes the universal fraternity.